All right, so for this problem, I'm asked to find the work done by F along the curve C. And C is the semicircle of radius 3 centered at the origin, oriented counterclockwise from 3, 0 to negative 3, 0. Well, this time I'm not given a parametrization for C. So I'm going to draw the picture of C, and I'm going to write my own. So I have this semicircle, right, going up and over from 3, 0 to negative 3, 0. Well, you might remember the way to parametrize a circle is our cosine t and our sine t. So here I can plug in r, which is 3. to say that my curve is given by 3 cosine t, 3 sine t. And I'm not going all the way around, so I need to figure out exactly what my bounds are for t. Well, I know they start at 0, right? Cosine of t, cosine of 0 is 1, sine of 1 is 0, so I get 3, 0. But then I need to go to negative 3, 0. So, pi, right? 3 cosine of pi is 3 times negative 1, negative 3, and then sine of pi is 0. Okay, so to calculate the work done by f along c, I want to calculate the line integral of f. And let me write out the general formula for that. So I have the integral of f of r of t dot r prime of t integrated with respect to t on whatever bounds we have for t. So here it's going to be 0 to pi. Well, let's start by finding r prime of t. So I just want to differentiate each term with respect to t. So the derivative of 3 cosine t is going to be negative 3 sine t. And the derivative of 3 sine t is going to be 3 cosine t. All right, so I have this part. But the next part I want to calculate is f of r of t. So to do that, I want to plug the i component for r everywhere I see an x and the j component for r everywhere I see a y into f of x, y. So let's go ahead and plug those in. Well, let's start by looking at these square roots. They're going to be the same both times. So I have the square root of 3 cosine, uh, yeah the square root of 9 cosine squared t plus 9 sine squared t, right? I just squared each of these terms. And I can recognize that as a trig identity, right? Cosine squared plus sine squared equals 1. So the denominator for both of these terms is actually going to be the square root of 9, or 3. And that makes my life a lot easier, because now I just want to plug in 3 sine of t over here, and I'm going to get 3 sine t over 3, excuse me, negative 3 sine t over 3. So negative sine t. And then for the second component, I'm going to plug in 3 cosine t, divide by 3, and get cosine t. All right. So now I want to take the dot product of f of r of t and r prime of t. So remember, that's just the product of the i components of the vectors plus the product of the j component of the vectors. So first off, I have negative sine t times negative 3 sine t, so 3 sine squared t.
All right. And then for the J component, I want to multiply 3 cosine t by cosine t. I get 3 cosine squared. My favorite trig identity is back. Sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. So this dot product is just going to be 3. And now I want to integrate that dot product with respect to t from 0 to pi. So let's go ahead and set that up. Well, this one's pretty easy. The integral of 3 is going to be 3t. I want to evaluate that from t equals 0 to t equals pi. Let's go ahead and plug in a pi, and I'm going to get 3 pi, and then plug in 0, and I get 0. So the work done by f along c is 3 pi. And let's call it joules. Say my units are meters, forces in newtons, and I'm good to go. So this is our answer.